This is Tom with AB Split Test, and today I'm going to have a play around with the new Generate Blocks 1.5. Uh, now, the big exciting thing about this is the dynamic data, query loops, and a new image block. So if you don't know, AB Split Test integrates with Generate Blocks. So let's see if it still works or if we have work to do. Let's check out what we've got. All right. Okay, so we've got a new image and the query loop. Let's start with something boring. We'll do an image. Look at that. Works pretty nice. Looks like we're going to sign it an A-B test. Let's test it out here. New image. But other than that, let's see what settings we've got. Who really cares about AB split test? Okay, great. So you can set the size. Everything's beautifully responsive. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Object fit, if you don't know, it lets you specify the dimensions of your image and then object fit decides how it will fill, fill your image. Uh, fill that window, I guess I should say. I use Beaver Builder a lot and I always have to uh, change this. So that's a great feature. I love that. Everything's all there. Colors, border, let's have a look. Oh, we've got border size here. Can we link them? Yeah, we can link them. Get a radius. Oh. And advanced, nothing much going on there. Cool, so that's, I mean, to me, that's a very nicely laid out Gutenberg block, all fully responsive as always. Nice. All right, let's try something else out. Uh, query loop is the other new one. Jump over to the block settings. Okay, layout. Lots of cool stuff. Query parameters. Inherit query. Okay. So it looks like you can do just about everything you need. Layout here. And the other slightly more advanced thing I wanted to mention was the styling of the query loops. I didn't quite understand it when I was looking at it the first time, but if you open up the list view, you'll see you can actually jump into each part of the loop and edit it. So this post excerpt, you can change it really, really easily to anything you want. And then it's, it's, oh, this is great. Okay, we've got flex as well. So let's do a 25% width and we'll do flex grow. Oh, oh, yeah, that's just so powerful. And obviously with generate blocks is uh, just really nice backgrounds and everything. Borders, where are we? Colors. Also, the dynamic data is another great new feature. So all you need to do is click the element. It works on any headline image or anything like that. Lines up your post information as you'd expect. So here for this image, we've got the current post, but let's not do that. Let's do post type, pages. Let's do the home page, featured image. And we'll update that. Now, I don't think we have anything on the home page, so let's see what happens here. All right, so it must be conditionally not showing anything. Let's head to the home page. We'll add a featured image and then zip on back and see what we've got. Okay, featured image. 
Now let's make it the city update. All right, now, now if we go back to that page and refresh, what do we get? Hey, look at that. So, I mean, that's not the simplest uh, data connection to make. We're getting the featured image off a different post type and everything. So that's, I mean, that's really good. It also looks like it's dynamically pulling in the data that's available. So let's create a headline. Boink. Here we go. Headline. Just clear up this uh, page a bit, hey? Cool. Okay, so we've got this headline down here. Let's turn on dynamic data. And we get a lot more text-based information available. And that's just, it's really just snappy and you can grab info from anywhere, really. So this should say bricks on page title. That's really powerful. I'm very, very excited about this. Oh, I love it. I love you generate blocks just all the settings all the settings that you would expect uh just so easy to get to again really crushing gutenberg wordpress block editor is lucky to have these blocks yeah so those are the new elements just checked them out they work perfectly with a b split test so if you are looking to do conversion optimization with generate blocks or generate press it works. Check out absplittest.com.